Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the market. Let's look and see what the S&P did today. Woo, we actually really did it today. And even I am surprised. Not that we did it. I'm not surprised that we did it. No, 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 no. I'm surprised that we did it today because of the fact that we have been struggling so much to get up over this number. We are actually positive on the year after the close today. Oof, we are gonna have a bullish week next week in the market. Yes, we are. We absolutely are. Look at this, right in here. Do you see this? We're up at this level. So I don't know where we open on Monday morning as far as where we got, but we are actually positive for the first time this year in the S&P, and that is gonna mean buying is gonna come into the market. So the high of this day over here, which was January 5th, look at it, 201.90, we closed above it. Okay, let me just look at one other number here. <sighs> this is an amazing chart. So I'm in S&P options, long-term, out this year, later this year, two different ones. And now we are finally going to see some action in these this week. Amazing. A lot of people thought the market was going to drop. And there are still some people that are calling this rally a bear market rally. It is not a bear market rally. Now let me explain why. First of all, this was a turnaround day for the market. It was a gap up. It was a bullish gap up that happened here on this day, on March 1st. And it was a turnaround day for the market. I don't like to predict highs and lows, but I'm telling you, I don't think we see a break of this anytime soon. So this was a good buy point for the market. It was a buy point for the market. If you look at the low, it was 194.45 and the high was 198.21. It was a nice, big, fat green day for the market. We also got over the resistance on this day. We also have rallied up and held. When we came in, we even held it and continued. This was a turnaround day for the market and I knew it. I knew when I got up in the morning and saw the gap. I said, this is it. And it really was it. And now here we are above the 200 period moving average. So what I'm trying to say is that this is not a bear market rally. How do I know? By reading the gaps. I did not have expectations when I got up this morning that this gap necessarily was going to hold today because we were struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling. And I actually wanted us to gap up further to get going. I wanted us to gap up here and then run. That I felt was solid. So we didn't make it quite there on the open today of the gap, but we did gap up. We closed here and gapped up, and then we took a long, long time to get going today, and we finally did it. But I will tell you, this is not a bear market rally. How do I know from reading the gaps? This is real buying. Number one, it's having follow through, okay? A bear market rally is short covering or a tiny bit of the buyers. You don't have tiny, tiny buyers making gap ups on these so many days in here. You also don't have tiny buyers making a bar like this. You also do not have tiny buyers pushing over the resistance because it takes real money to push over the resistance here. The resistance is the shorts that are holding the market down, which we have pushed above. And we pushed above the resistance for the high of the year. So this is real money buying the market. In fact, it's so strong that it is, it is doing it very, uh, what's the word? Methodically. It's doing it methodically. So people that think this is a bear market rally are incorrect. This is real money coming in and buying the market. And it's going to soon explode because more people are going to buy in and then you're going to get the short squeeze because people still think we're in a downtrend or that, again, this is a bearish market, which it isn't. Great call here I made for the market. We will make a brand new all-time high this year. And I have 100% conviction that happens. We'll see where we go after that. All that matters is the fact that we never broke the downtrend. We are still in an uptrend. We are definitely in an uptrend. We just made an all-time high for the calendar year this year. It's only March 11th. we got plenty of time left to do lots and lots and lots of things like break the high and run, run, run. If you'd like to learn how to read gaps in the market, which is how I'm able to predict that even after all this drop-off and all this drop-off and all of this, and even the day of this bullish gap here and the one here from today that we would follow through. If you would like to learn how to predict moves in stocks or the market, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next Golden Gap class is March 20th and 21st, which is Sunday and Monday. Thanks, everyone, and have a great night.